Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video in NumPy tutorial series. That is another video on NumPy error manipulation. We are having multiple ways with which we can have mathematical manipulation on, on NumPy array. Those are basic arithmetic operation, trigonometric functions, exponential and logarithmic function, rounding and modulus, statistics and linear algebra. So these are some of the common topics to be covered up while dealing up with the mathematical operations into NumPy array. So we will be watching all these or you may say overview of all these into this particular video. So let's get started with the video. So basically moving uh, uh, before moving ahead let me just tell you that what all things we have covered up we are learning we are using this particular learning roadmap into which we saw what is numpy what how to create numpy array then sampling the data then distribution of data after that we are here with numpy array manipulation and then we will see matrix num in numpy array so this is going to be our learning roadmap and definitely moving forward we will be adding few of the steps as well so in this numpy array manipulation we have already covered up multiple videos you can just check out those as well into which we saw all these type of things and today we are here with the mathematical calculations available into numpy array those can be the basic arithmetic operation or the trigonometric function and so on so this uh, starting with basic arithmetic function we are having arithmetic functions like addition subtraction multiplication division exponent square root and absolute value so all these are our uh, mathematical operations which is very uh, useful or you may say basic operation arithmetic operation so for addition if you want to do you are having two ways either you can use numpy dot add and then you can supply array 1 plus array, array 1 and then array 2 or you can go ahead with the another direct approach that is array 1 plus array 2 it will simply add up your both of the arrays let's try it out on vs code suppose you are having array 1 this particular one as the array 1 into which you what you are doing 1 2 3 4 5 and then 0 right let's copy this and just change few of the values change it to 3 this 3 to 7 and now what we can see is we can do just add array equals to array 1 sorry array 1 plus array 2 ideally it should be array 2 so we can do array 2 and when you will check the value of add array it should be adding both of the arrays so what you can see here 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 3 5 then 7 plus 3 10 all the things have been added either you can perform this way or just you need to provide numpy that is np dot add and into this add function this add is there right into this add function what you can pro provide over here that is array 1 comma array 2 right let's try it out that way also we are getting the same result correct so both the ways you can follow and similarly for other operations as well that means uh, there is subtraction multiplication division exponent square root or absolute value you can proceed ahead with same uh, way the formula for subtraction is dot subtract that is the method and formula is definitely this minus sign is there which will can be directly used for multiplication there is star and if you see for the exponent this is double star and there is dot multiply dot divide for a square root dot a square root for absolute dot abs like this you can definitely try the things out moving ahead with the trigonometric function this trigonometric function we are having sine cosine tangent after that arc cosine arc sine and arc tangent 
so these all can be found out by the different ways like dot assign dot cost dot pan and dot arc sign dot arc cost dot arc ten. so if you will try this sort definitely you are going to get the result if you want to find sign of each of the value present in the array definitely you can go ahead with dot sign it will give you whatever the values present like right uh, like right now there is one two three four five and then zero right so if you will do numpy np dot sign what it will do it will <coughs> find out the dot sign of one then two then three then four then five then zero so this is how it is going to be executed after that we are having exponential and logarithmic function to which of course we can see here that we were having exponential this this was something which was numpy dot power either you can use dot power uh, or you can use numpy dot exp in this exp it will give the value that means over here what it was doing it was the manual power whatever uh, you want to provide as the power definitely you can pro put it here at the place of exponent but here it will be e to raise to whatever the value it will be there into your array so that is how it can be calculated after that we are having natural logarithm and then base 10 logarithm so all these can be uh, just uh, can be obtained by passing out this array value to it or you may say whatever array you want to uh, work upon definitely you can pass that particular one over here after that we are having rounding and modulus this can be useful definitely rounding is something which is very useful that means either you can round up or round down or the nearest integer if you want to find out all these things you can do there are multiple functions that like dot round dot seal because round up is also called as ceiling round down is also called as floor so dot floor is there for floor and then after that we are having modulus modulus is nothing but the reminder what is remind after division whatever you get at uh, uh, after uh, along with the quotient you are getting some number right if you are dividing 2 divided by 9 what will be the reminder over there 1 is going to be the reminder because 2 into 4 equals to 8 plus 1 is equals to going to be your reminder that only can be found out with dot mod or either you can put percentage sign so divide is there with having the, this oblique sign and if you are putting percent sign it will find out your modulus after that you are having multiple statistics functions as well like mean median standard deviation variance sum of element product of element so these are the sum of the statistical function over here present into the numpy array manipulation and then there is linear algebra which is definitely very powerful or you may say the one which is getting used into the uh, 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 very widely used or you may say it's also available this linear algebra is available a better into the matrix when we will see how what is numpy matrix and how we can go ahead with numpy matrix manipulations so right now we are into array so we are having multiple manipulations like dot mat uh, uh, this one multiplication after that inversion if you want to do and then determinant of a matrix so this is also oriented to matrix itself but you can use it something like your array that means whatever your input will be that will be your array but it will be internally changing it to matrix first then using the calculation over it over here also it will first change it to matrix then it will invert here it is finding the determinant how it is doing it is just passing the array over here that array is internally changed to the matrix and then the determinant is found so this is what it was all about the basic mathematical calculations available into our numpy array and that was whole about this video so i hope that you found this video very helpful and definitely you can take the screenshot so that whenever needed you can refer this particular one so that you can have a clear uh, you may say visibility how we can use different mathematical calculations in our, in our numpy array so that was whole thank you so much guys for watching out the video if you found this video helpful kindly like to the video subscribe to the channel see you in the next one with some other topic thanks again